Okay, you guys, let's do a quick video on how to do contingency tables within uh, R Commander. So this was kind of one of the sections on the probability uh, that we were working on. So let's go ahead and install some data. I've got my R Commander up. Let's import the data. Go to your Excel file. And let's just call this practice. And I'm just going to open up uh, from my downloads. Oh, nope, never mind. Data, import, Excel, practice. And yep, okay, we're in downloads and let's do our lab. And let's go ahead and open that. Okay. So when we do contingency tables, we can just come to statistics, contingency tables, and click two-way table. So we need two categorical data, two pieces of categorical data. So I think we're, let's go ahead and do uh, political affiliation for our column, and we'll do sex for our rows. So we can see those two and we can ask for some statistics as well we can ask for like row percentages we can say percentages of total we can say no percentages column percentages so we can pick just one of these um, I'm going to say percentages of total as well that might be helpful and we can do some hypothesis testing we we might come back to this later we don't need it right now and let's go ahead and click OK and let's come over here and we see that we have basically two frequency tables so we've got a we have a frequency table with just the raw counts and we also have a frequency table of total percentages so let's go ahead and we're going to copy in uh, let's just do the frequency table so let's go ahead and copy that and we're going to paste it into Excel but first if you actually open up your well, sometimes if you open up your window it'll drop it onto a single line for you sometimes it won't so looks like I've got it maxed out already let's just copy that and let's go to Excel once we have Excel open we're going to need to adjust the columns so Let's get Excel open. Okay, let's get a new document. Okay, and I'm just going to paste. All right, so it pastes them all into the first column, and what we can do is let's let's take care of this in two parts. So I'm going to highlight just the first set of data: the sex and female and male and then I can go over to data and go text to columns and I can either do this with delimited or fixed width I'm going to do fixed width again and we can just drag these around so we've got female we've got extremely liberal I'm just going to if you double click on one you can get it to go away so I want extremely liberal liberal slightly liberal and moderate and you can drag those around if you need to and I'm just going to click on finish and it moves those apart I'm going to do the same thing over here with the second half. We'll do fixed width and we'll take away that one between the slightly and conservative and off of extremely conservative and we'll hit finish. And now we've got all these. So I'm going to take these bottom ones and just drag them up to the top. And I'm going to delete out that guy. And now I'm going to highlight uh, from the column titles of A, B, and C. I'm going to click and drag over. And if you double click in between two columns, you see how my cursor changes from a downward arrow to those arrows pointed sideways. You can get them to uh, to size correctly. Now it looks like I've also included this sex and female. Let's delete that out. We don't need that. And now we've got our contingency table. So we've got political affiliation by your sex. And now we can ask all sorts of different types of questions. One thing that we do want to know and is going to be very important is to get the total. 
because the total is basically how big is our sample space. So we can equals, type in sum, and then I'm just going to highlight all of the data. That will give me how many people responded to political affiliation and their gender. Now remember, there were a total of 900 people who were in this survey, but only 410 responded to their uh, political affiliation. So that's why our total is 410. So let's say, let's do a probability real quick. I'm going to do probability of female union uh, liberal. So remember, union means or. So what I can do is I can highlight female. I'm just going to color that in real quick. Let's go ahead and go to home. And I want to color that guy yellow. And then I'm going to highlight my liberal. I'm going to highlight it blue. And just because I know my colors, yellow and blue mixed together gives me some sort of green. OK, this is going to be important. Because in order to do these probabilities, that's going to be equal to probability, or let's type it out, probability of female, female plus the probability of liberal minus the probability of female intersect liberal. So since these two intersect, they are not mutually exclusive. And we can say that this is equal to, I want to type out the sum of, OK, let's start off with the female. So the probability, I want to get all of the females and divide by the total. So that's the probability of being a female in this um, sample. And then we're going to say the sum of the liberals divided by the total. That gives you the probability of being a liberal here. Now we need to subtract out the probability of being female and liberal because it will have been double counted. So we can just click on that little 23 and divide by the total. And we can hit enter and we can say, okay, the probability of being female or liberal is roughly 60%. Now remember, we can adjust these up or down and let's make this a little smaller. We'll just take it out to four decimal places. So that's how we figured out how to do our union. So this is female union liberal. And because of that, we also figured out our intersect, female intersect liberal, where you can both be liberal and female. And that's kind of the basics of the contingency table. I'll uh, expand this out in later videos. Hope that helps out.